I'm Ann Leonard. Here's an overview of a recent collaboration with Daniel Pappage at the University of Arizona. The bright multicolored patterns of flowers have intrigued biologists for centuries. In 1763, Christian Sprengel first suggested that floral patterns function as nectar guides, directing pollinators towards the nectary and the reproductive structures of the plant. Surprisingly, we know little about how nectar guides influence several aspects of bees' flower handling. Do bees learn how to use nectar guides efficiently? And what long-term effects do nectar guides have on bees' foraging behavior? We observed the response of bumblebee foragers to artificial flowers that either had or lacked nectar guide patterns in a multi-day experiment. For each bee, we measure the amount of time it took to discover nectar. We found that nectar guides speeded flower handling in several ways. Bees were less likely to miss the sucrose reward when flowers had nectar guides, and their mean nectar discovery time was faster when flowers had nectar guides, regardless of floral shape. Although the discovery time benefit of a nectar guide is clear on the first flower of a foraging trip, nectar guides still speed discovery for bees on their last flower of a trip. Additionally, bees' skill at using a nectar guide itself improves with experience. So far these results suggest that nectar guides are mutually beneficial to both plant and bee. But do plant and pollinator always have coincident interests? The nectar availability of any one plant species is likely to change over time. We asked whether the presence of a nectar guide affected bees' propensity to switch between flower types that had changed in reward value. Bees that had fed from pattern flowers on day one persisted in landing on these flower types two days later, even though they offered no sucrose reward. Our study shows that rather than always being mutually beneficial, nectar guides can in fact at times promote pollen transfer for the plant at the expense of the bee's foraging efficiency. 